Purdue Fort Wayne came to Moon Township today, hoping to get back to 500 overall and in the Horizon League as they took on the Colonials. Let's take a look at the sights and sounds today from the UPMC Event Center. Following the game, head coach Andy told Boyle the loss down to just not being prepared for the output from Purdue Fort Wayne in the first half. You know, just not as engaged as we needed to be um, on both sides of the ball in that first half. I mean, I thought we fought in the second half and we kind of tried to scrap our way back into the game, but you know, it just we weren't, we weren't ready at the start. Despite the loss, RMU guard Michael Green III picked up 20 points, a season and game high for the transfer from Bryant. He talked about what went right for him during the game. I felt like I was more aggressive, looking for my shot, and just playing within the offense, and I just got the right looks and made them. Tool also talked about how important Green is going to be to the team going forward, as he is going to be the more relied upon point guard in the rotation. We want Mike to be aggressive. He's a guy that scored the ball through the course of his college career. Um, you know, we want to make sure that he's keeping us organized offensively, getting the ball to the right places. You know, but we like that aggressiveness. You know, we've always we've always promoted an offense where if it's your opportunity to step in and take a shot and it's a shot that you're ready, that you make at a high percentage and that you're open, shoot it. Another player who had a great game today was guard Enoch Cheeks, who drew a couple of defenders on him on some tough layups and made the shots, getting the Colonials closer to tying the game up. Andy Tool praised the guard's development over the past two years. We always knew that he had you know, great physical gifts, um, great explosiveness. Um, you know, he can really play much bigger than he is as a player. You know, all those, all those tools are part of his, his repertoire. Um, it's just doing it on that consistent basis. And I think obviously, you know, he's shown himself to be a guy who, you know, when he gets going, certainly helps our team in a major way. And we need him to be going all the time. Ultimately, the rough first half and the stifling defense of the Mastodons spelled a loss for the Clones as they fell by another close score of 76 to 70. We'll see you back in action on Thursday as they take on Wright State right here in the UPMC Event Center. Reporting for Colonial Sports Network, I'm Tyler Gallo.